Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to batch process image files using Adobe Fireworks. So before we launch Adobe Fireworks I just want to have a look at this folder I've got on my desktop and you can see I've got a total of eight images in this folder and if I select all of the images uh, you can see here I've got 34.4 megabyte file size so all of these images combined together come to 34 megabytes and that's quite a lot of data to be sending via email you know it's going to be a long process to try and send these probably have to separate them and send them in a few emails across the internet and it's going to take quite a long time to send them and quite a long time to receive them so in this case really what I'm trying to do here is to reduce the file size of these images using batch process Now you could have had a hundred images in this folder I'm only using eight to speed up this example demo but typically when I do this job I may have 50 60 70 images all in one folder and I want to try and send them to someone just for, for to look at maybe they want to choose a, sp a particular image or you know I need to just get them across the internet and they don't have to be such high resolution so if I look at say for example this image here if I open it the image looks great and the quality is very very high resolution and just to get this file across the internet to someone else it doesn't need to be so high res it could, could have been a much smaller file and they still would have been able to see what the image looks like without it having to be such a large large file now on that particular image I clicked on I can see that it's 5,000 pixels wide and 3,750 3, pixels high and using Adobe Fireworks I'm going to reduce the width and use Adobe Fireworks to work out the height for me and as I uh, batch process uh, using Adobe Fireworks it's going to also compress the image for me as well so I'm going to close this folder down and I'm going to launch Adobe Fireworks and to start this process I'm going to go to file and then batch process and when I go there I've actually pre-selected this particular folder you can see the same eight images and I'm going to select those eight images with my mouse I'm going to click next and in the next process it's going to ask me Adobe this software is going to say well what do you exactly want to do with these files so the first thing I want to do is export them so I'm going to click add it's going to ask me you know how do you want to compress these images they're already JPEGs but I want to put some more compression on those JPEGs so I'm going to select JPEG better quality I'm just going to edit these settings and just check and it's set to 80 percent so that's fine that should be okay for this batch process and that will just reduce the file size down a little bit and I'm going to scale the images as well so I'm going to click scale and then add and on the scaling options I'm going to scale to size and I'm going to tell the software that I want it to be 1000 pixels wide if you remember before we said uh, the image itself on the desktop was 5000 pixels that was one example some of them were much larger than that and in the height I'm going to tell it to be variable so what this will actually do is work out the height so if if the image was scaled to 1000 it's going to do the height for me automatically so all my images will be 1000 wide in the end and the heights may vary depending on the actual image itself so I'm going to click the next button and it's going to ask me a few questions it's going to say saving files batch output same location as original files so it's just basically what it's saying it's going to save these new files in the same location and I'm going to tell it to do a backup overwriting existing and it will over overwrite existing backups um, basically what it's going to do is create a folder and it's going to store my original high-res images in a separate folder I can save this script and you know use it again later so I don't have to keep going through this process I can load this script automatically but for now I'm just going to click on the batch button here and as you can see the software is going to load in each image and it's going to do the work for me so we just wait a few seconds for this to complete the batch process okay that's all done so now when I go back to my desktop and I look at this folder I can see 
these are the files that is batch processed here and these are the original files so these are the ones that are at high resolution they're still 34.4 megabytes but in this directory in the in the root directory these images here are now a com combination of 902 kilobytes so it's less than one megabyte now I can send this quite easily it's only one meg in total file size and someone else can check those images and maybe select them you can imagine if I had 50 of these images then you know I would save a lot of time trying to send uh, 50 large images instead of sending 50 large ones I can send these 50 smaller ones it would be a good idea to zip these into a zip file you can check my other tutorial on it on YouTube on how to use 7-zip and that will explain how you can add all of these files into a zip file and then send it via email so let's just check that image that we looked at before this one here and when we open it we can still see the quality is pretty good it's still okay it's still viewable it's not pixelating it's not corrupted in any way the height and the width is correct it's not stretched or squashed so it's done all of that work for me very easily um, and that's really a great way of compressing images and being able to send them via the internet now you could have used this same process if you wanted to add the images to your website so if you knew in a particular place if you had some sort of image slider and you knew that the image slider had to be a certain width then you could have batch processed all of these files to that particular width whether it was 960 pixels wide for example you could have used this uh, function in Adobe Fireworks to make sure all of these images are 960 pixels wide so that's the basic process of using Adobe Fireworks to do batch processing I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep an eye out for more DCP web tutorials